What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping back onto that ranked double ladder for Series 10. And ladies and gentlemen, today we got ourselves a banger of a team. We are rocking out with a Rayquaza squad alongside with Articuno, Galarian Articuno I should say, and Faramosa. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel or just new to the channel, scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it really does go a long way. And about 50% of my viewers, 50 to 40 I should say, are not subscribed to the channel. So that's a huge chunk. If that's one of you guys, click that subscribe button and join the community. But this team right here was sent in by my boy Gary. Gary, shout out to you for leaving this team in my Instagram DMs. Cannot wait to use it. Cannot wait to get some wins with it, more importantly. But if you guys have rental codes for me, leave them in my Instagram. Instagram DMs name is right below my face cam and there's a link down in the description below to my Instagram page But getting started with this team in that top left corner the one and only Rayquaza over here air lock ability Sharp beak has his items so dragon ascent will be able to do more damage protect crunch overheat and like I said dragon ascent as its final move Right next to him is Galarian Articuno, one of my favorite Galarian birds here. Probably not the strongest out of the three, maybe the weakest out of the three to be honest with you guys, but my favorite personally. But competitive ability, Citrus Berry, so it's going to work well up against uh, Intimidate Pokemon. Then we got Protect, Freezing Glare for Stab, Tailwind to boost our team's speed, and Light Screen to protect us from special attack moves. Middle left over here is going to be a heavy hitting Pokemon for his team. That is going to be this Landris over here. Sheer Force ability, Life Orb as his item. This thing hits like an absolute truck. It's been all over the meta. Cannot wait to use it once again. Protect, Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, and Grass Stop for this thing's moveset. Right next to him is an Ultra Beast who never gets any love, and that is Faramosa over here. One of the fastest Pokemon in the game, to be honest. Beast Boost ability, Focus Sash as his item, and then we got Protect, Close Combat for our Stab move. Then we have our Coverage move, a Poison Jab, and Icy Wind for Speed Control. Bottom left is going to be a support mod for this team, which is the one and only Pokeball Mushroom Amoongus. Regenerator ability, Mental Herb as its item, then we got the normal moveset for Protect, Rage Powder, Sport, and Grass Knot. Final Pokemon on the team, Incineroar. I'm not even going to say anything else. It's Incineroar right here. Everything's normal. You got the Intimidate, you got the Safety Goggles, Flare Boys, Darkest Larry, Fake Out, and Partner Shot. Normal moveset, I just seriously don't even need to say anything about, about this Pokemon anymore. At any time Incineroar's on the team, it's rocking the same exact moveset, potentially the same item, and the same exact ability. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and look to get some wins with this Rayquaza, Galarian Articuno, and Faramosa team. You love to see it, ladies and gentlemen. First battle coming at you guys, and we got off meta restricted mod versus off meta restricted mod requires team going up against a mewtwo team this guy also has his whimsicott the ente the tapu lele for that surge and then he has his tesserine over here alongside with earth Spoon. so we gotta watch out for a few pokemon here like the tesserine and the uh terrain control because it could definitely be a problem for us it could totally be a problem for us but i'm thinking of going in glaring articuno or i could go Faramosa for speed control speed control could be really really good here but if he goes in with uh Hmm, who do I really want to go into here? I think Faramosa into Larian Articuno. If I can set up a Tailwind, I can get Speed Control. Actually, I might not even need Tailwind if I'm going with Speed Control with Faramosa. Hmm. What does Jeans want to do here? What does Jeans want to do? Could lead the Lando, could lead the Rayquaza. I'm thinking Landers here. Landers is super, super strong. And then bringing in this Incineroar in the back end. Just for the Intimidate drop later in the game. And then... Rayquaza. Definitely got to bring Rayquaza, right? Yeah, let's get him rolling. Here. Let's get him rolling here. Let's get out here. Let's grab ourselves a win in battle number one. But, guys, let me know for question of the day. Will you guys be picking up Splatoon 3 when it releases on the Nintendo Switch? Considering I'm super, super excited for that game. I'm going to be streaming it, doing some online content here on the YouTube channel. I absolutely love the Splatoon series. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. I think it's one of the top competitive games for the Nintendo Switch. Just the online move is phenomenal. It is phenomenal. I really do like it. So, definitely let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. But it leads... The little green buggy thing alongside with the other green buggy thing. Two green buggy things. Two plants, I should say. And I could just drop an easy icy wind. Might be my turn. Drop a nice lovely little icy wind. And he might set up a... Uh... Probably going to set up a tailwind here. I'm going to double down into uh... this green bug on the left side. Because I think that's pose a big threat. And if he does tailwind, we'll just keep icy winning and just try and take speed control back from him. That's your plan, because Faramosa are already super fast. I gotta show you guys that thing's speed. I know it's over 200. It's a fact. This thing is quick. A lot of people rock speed swap on it. That was huge when uh, Dynamax was a uh, format. You would just, like, proc a weakness policy and then, like, speed swap. It's gonna end up... It's gonna end up protecting you. Does he set up a tailwind? 
You son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. So he gets the tailwind all set up out and about. Icy Wind is going to connect with the uh, Wimscott. Thank you. We should double down into that thing. Should double down into that, but he makes a nice hard read on the protect. Yo, Icy Wind doing a huge chunk. It ain't even critting. And it was doing that much. So let's obviously come out here. Blocked. All right, so it gets blocked all day. Um, he could be rocking triple axle, which definitely could be scary. I could go here, and I could protect. I think I am going to protect. Protect Lando here. He could be rock rocking triple axle, which could be going into my lander slot, right? Moonblast is going to fly through here. Pheromos' sash is going to pop. It's lovely. And Icy Wind might be able to come out here. Let's see. Let's see what the Serene's going for. He better not double down on my Pheromosa. Pheromos is still outspeeding that Pokemon, even in Tailwind. It's lovely. It is lovely. That's some huge damage. That's some huge damage there. Now Pheromosa might be the fastest on the field. So hopefully, this green bug over here goes for the uh, Lando. Yep, goes for triple axle into the Landers. I'm loving it. I think my uh, my Pheromosa should be able to outspeed everybody. So Icy Wind should be able to take out, and then Sludge Bomb should be able to come over here and connect. So he might protect that Pokemon yet again. Icy Wind's gonna come through. Who dodges it? Who just dodged it? Who dodged it? Please not the Wimscott. Okay, Wimscott did not dodge it, so that thing goes down. Of course, of course this thing dodges it, but we should still be able to outspeed here. We got our Beast Boost, which is lovely, even though it's just a speed boost. And Sludge Bomb's gonna be able to fly through here. Hopefully, well, I think we should be able to pick up a KO here, right? Easily. Yeah, get it out my face. Get it out my face. This dude's rocking Tailwind. Uh, we are plus one on speed, so I'm thinking we should maybe still be able to go first now. Hopefully we can, because if we get off one Icy Wind before we go out, that could be huge for our team. The Lele -Le is going to fly through here, probably alongside with the Mewtwo, right? If I had to guess. Yeah, that, that's a little scary. I ain't going to lie. That's a little scary. I ain't even going to lie. How many turns is left in a Tailwind? That's a, that's a good question. That is a good question. That is a great little question from Jeans here. Uh, I just want to show you guys this thing's speed. I didn't get to do it in the first couple battles. Or moves. Look at that. 223? Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord, bro. That thing's cooking. That thing is cooking. So, he has the second surge up, so my fake out will not matter late in the game, but I just want to see how many turns left to Tailwind. One turn left to Tailwind. Gotta love it, so this is why I am just going to... I could double protect, can I? Yeah, I'm just going to double protect. Double protect, waste out this Tailwind, just so my uh, Pheromosa is faster than everybody. I think that's a huge turn. I think that's a huge turn. Then I can be able to get off one Ice Wind, making my uh, back-end Pokemon probably faster than all these guys. I'm really like that. I'm really digging it. Then we kind of just got to get after this Mewtwo. We knew the expanded forces were coming. We knew it was coming. Get out of my face, dog. Get him out of here. You guys know the deal. That's the coming out of here. Get him out of here, dude. Get blocked up on. We don't play around. We don't play around. You know, been having so much fun on the Ranked Double Ladder as of recently. Same thing with Pokemon Unite. Been having so much fun playing Ranked at that. You guys haven't checked out my most recent video. We just hit Master Ball tier, which is amazing. Absolutely love it. So definitely go check out that video. Uh, we're going to be able to drop a Sludge Bomb here. I think Sludge Bomb is going to be the play. All day, I think it's the play. So we're just hit like truck. Icy Wind is going to come in. Who's dodging this? Who's dodging this Icy Wind? Ah, dang, man. The Mewtwo dodge it. And I would rather hit the Mewtwo. Mewtwo's way faster. Expanded Force can come out here. And hopefully Lando can eat up, right? Lando, you got it. Oh my lord, man, dude. Dude, come on, Icy Wind. Icy Wind's got to connect there, man. It's got to connect. That's rough. That's real rough. Because that's Mewtwo's fine. This thing's quick. This thing is super, super quick. Uh, Rayquaza's going to have to come out in here. At least the expanding force won't uh, it won't hit up on my uh, what's it called my Incineroar, which is beautiful, which is beautiful. Let me send out these guys. But dude, my if my Ice Wind just connects with that Mewtwo, uh, my Lando gets off a shot, which is huge, which is gonna be huge damage for us and a huge play all around. But they don't have the Tailwind. The Airlock's out and about. Doesn't isn't really doing anything. This Intimidate isn't really doing anything. They're both special attackers. Hmm. What's the Genes play? Can't fake out. Know that for a fact. I could just drop a nice little Crunchy Crunch. They drop a nice little crunch crunch. Wait, double down into Mewtwo? I think we do double down into Mewtwo. Get rid of this guy. We're gonna double down into Mewtwo. I don't think he has a Moxie to protect. I don't think he has a Moxie to protect. Let's see his dude's play. Let's see his dude's play. Oh, he don't have the Moxie to protect. 
that don't affect me. It's gonna hit up on my Dragonmon. I should be able to eat that up all day, right? Bruh. 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 Alright, Incineroar, your time to shine, baby. Get this 1v1 rolling. Get this 1v1 rolling. Take him out. Bruh. Bruh, dude, we really gonna lose to an Icy Wind. We lost to an Icy Wind. This thing should be slower than all my Pokemon. That thing hitting like a truck. That's gonna be GG's, though. Actually, can it hit me again? I might only have that move, so I might not even want to worry about that Pokemon. That's gonna be our, our, our final hope here. No, but it has a War Spear. Yep. As War Spear, and we are going to lose battle number one. That is crazy. That is crazy. Oh, that thing gets a free focus edge, too. But that's the Gleam's gonna come out here. Dude, that's so rough. That is so rough that our Icy Wind don't hit that Pokemon. If that happens, we have a huge Sludge Bomb off on that, and then my Rayquaza is able to outspeed that Mewtwo all day. That last battle, we honestly played super well. We had a lot of control with the Pheromosa, especially early on with the Pheromosa lead alongside with the Landris. But then we just ended up missing two Icy Winds back to back. We had one hit on the right slot both times and two miss on the left slot both times. It was just crazy. Lost the battle because of that, in my opinion. But we're hopping into our second one. Gotta grab ourselves a win here. Going up against a Xerneas team alongside with Grim Snarl, Rillaboom, Regilecki, Galarian Moltres, and Spectre over here. So Spectre is probably sitting there with Will O Wisp, Snarl, if I had to guess, maybe Shadow Ball for Stab, and Protect as his final move. If I had to guess his moveset, that's probably it. Because most Spectres aren't rolling with an attacking moveset nowadays, they're kind of just there for support. Uh, but who should I go into? We're we'll going with a fake out mod, which I'm probably going to do with Incineroar. And I could just pop a lovely little tailwind with Articuno here and maybe set up a light screen later. I dig it. I can get down with it. I can totally get down with that. Definitely bring the Lando. Definitely got to bring the Lando. And then. I don't know, Pokemon could be Rayquaza. I think I really. Mm. That Xerneas is definitely scary. I could bring Lando. I might. I want to just lead the landers. I think I'm gonna lead the landers. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna lead the landers. I'm gonna bring Rayquaza and then Articuno in the back end. Or we can bring Amoogus. I'm gonna go Amoogus here. I'm gonna go Amoogus and lock that in. The reason I didn't want to lead the Articuno is in case he leads that Xerneas. I have to have something to pose a threat on that thing. Because if it sets up a Geomance, it's pretty much over for us. So I have to lead the landers. Have to get him out there. Hopefully he uh, leads his Xerneas at this point. But then if he does. You could protect. It's just so tough. It's so tough. Xerneas is just such a tough mod to play up against. Considering it's such a big threat. So it ends up leading the Spectre. Wow, I could have went into my other combo. Could have went into my uh, Tailwind setup. But I'm fine with this. I'm totally fine with this. I can definitely fake out the bird. But I cannot fake out the Spectre. And... What do I go from here? Good part of... Ooh. Good part of shot next turn. Hmm. Just G's will do. Sludge Bomb probably gonna play. I'll go for a nice little Dark Slayer. But definitely fake out what'll pop here. And then I'm thinking I should come for an Earth Power right over into the Spectre slot. Right over into Spectre slot. Get some stab damage out here. Get some damage up on the board here. Big out. Give some flinches out here. And Will-O-Wisp is going to fly. That's totally fine. Uh, we have a lot of special attacking moves, so. Cool with it. I'm cool with the burn. I'm cool with the burn. EP flying out here. Hey. Still doing a heap in the mouth. Still doing a heap in the mouth. That Pokemon flinches. Uh, what do I do from here? A party shot into the burn. I could drop a lovely Dark Slayer, but I think I'm just gonna party shot out. And maybe just protect the stone. Hmm. I'm going to protect the stone. We'll protect this turn. We'll swap out. And who should I get in from here? Bring me a Moogus. Moogus could be pretty good here. We're also gonna fly. We all block. We all block. That thing is very, very fast. Spectre, I knew, I knew the exact moves that this thing was locked. I told you guys. It's Starlet, will o -Wisp, Shadow Ball. Oh, you son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. What do, you, what do you think you're doing? Huh? What do you think you're doing here, punk? Let me pardon shot you down to only minus one. Or only to plus one. Alright, I see you. I think setting up a nasty plot on me. This dude's crazy. This dude's crazy. Gotta get out of you. Or I could go and move this here. No, because he can just one-tap and move this, no problem. We're gonna bring out Rayquaza. Rayquaza! And I'm gonna drop a nice big dragon to set. Nice big dragon to set. Airlock out and about. Let's do it through Snarl. Scaring me, dude. Snarl is definitely scaring me. And then we're physical. If he burns me, I'm gonna cry a little bit. 
I'm gonna protect. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna protect, and I am going to take out you. Just wanna see what this bird's doing. That bird's that bird's such a threat, but that that will miss. I cannot afford it on my Rayquaza. Told you, cannot afford it on my Rayquaza. I had to protect that turn. Lander's gonna be able to drop an EP. We're gonna be able to finish off that Pokemon. That's big turn. That's big turn for Jeans. So he's able to take that out. Hopefully he goes for the one, the singular move into my Rayquaza. But Fire Wrath is gonna come out and about. We're gonna block it, and that might be able to take out my Lander. Slanders, can you soak it up? Can you say that's a tasty stack for me? My man, my man, eats that one up. Burns chipping away on us. We are faster than the Moltres, so hopefully he throws out somebody who's slower than the Moltres. We get some work done with it. Um, he is gonna throw out. Grimstorm. Grimstorm is going to be able to rock out fake out here. Looking a little scary. So I'm going to go for Dragon Ascent. I'm going to try doubling down in this Pokemon. Even though he might pick out my Lando. So I'm going to double down into him. I need to get off some big damage. I even trigger Berserk. Here's the fake out into the U. Okay, that's cool. We're going to trigger Berserk here. Berserk is out. Oh no, he eats a berry. So Berserk might not trigger. It might be, be more beneficial for us. We go for a, fi a fiery wrath here. That is going to be able to take out my landers. Rayquaza is going to be able to eat and get off another turn. So I guess we'll try to drop another little air move on him. Our dragon ascent. And who do I get out from here? Hmm. We go Incineroar. I say we force to protect out of Moltres. I, I'm gonna make a read on the protect. I think the Moltres does protect here. So we double down in the Grim Snarl. I really do think that's the play. Really do think that's the play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get after it. Dragon Ascent. You. And then we just fake out into you. Come on, show me the bird protecting. Show me the bird protecting. All day the bird's protecting. All day, right? All dang day the bird's protecting. All day the bird's protecting. Big ol' reads for jeans. Big ol' reads for jeans. Fake out popping over on this slot. Let me make a nice big ol' protect read on this turn. Dragon Ascent flying out and about. Getting after it. Getting after it with our sharp beak as well. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Her defense is going to drop. Her special defense is going to drop. It's basically the close combat for Rayquaza. Now we drop another Dragon Ascent into that left slot. And it really depends who he throws out. We need somebody who's slower than Rayquaza here. Ooh, Zern. Cern. Hmm, is Cern fast? I, I'm curious about this one. I'm curious about this one. Definitely got a Dragon Ascent over on him. What's Dragon Ascent? A Flare Blitz to a Parting Shot? I might Parting Shot onto him. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. We do have speed, which is beautiful. It's beautiful. This should be able to take out that, uh, the Moltres has no problem, right? Yep, get him out of my face. This one's going to be super, super close. Super, super close. Amoogus is going to be able to come out here, which is huge. Because I can put this Pokemon to sleep. He's going to Geomance. He is going to Geomance here, so... We are going to be able to get out my Amoogus. Which is huge and have a fake out ready to rock in a little bit. But Geomance is going to come out here. His speed's going to get boosted. His, his special defense, all that good stuff is going to come out. But Amoogus has to put this thing to sleep right here. And Moongus has to put this Pokemon to sleep. No need to go for Rage Powers. Parting Shots can come out here. Oh, this, this, gonna be, this one's going to be super close, man. Rayquaza coming in clutch. And we're making some great reads this, uh, this, uh, this battle. Let's get out of our Moongus here. We have Grass Knot. We have our Rage Powder. We have our Spore. But this thing has to go Night Night. Has to go Night Night. I think we protect here. Our Rayquaza. Let me put this thing to sleep. Right. Protect Rayquaza, obviously. We gotta say night night to the sun. We have to say night night. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. I'm gonna need my Rayquaza to do some big damage. But this is why I need my Lando here. Liam's gonna pop out here. That's an easy eat for Amoogus. Amoogus says, yo, that might be the tastiest snack on planet Earth. He says, yo, that's super tasty. Now he said, hey, take your night cool pills. Go to sleep, baby. Go to sleep. Oh, dude, I'm playing great. Your boy's playing great right here. Love to see where your boys play like this. Dragon Ascent's got to pop out here. Even though our special defense is down, we're just going to keep rocking out with it. We're just going to keep getting after this Pokemon. Amoongus coming in the back end. This dude cancels battle. What a second battle. 
from your boy. That last battle, we totally just outplayed our opponent, made some great reads, made some great plays, and just powered through that battle to victory right there. But we're sitting at 1-1, one one, hopping into our third and final battle, going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team, one of the top meta Pokemon for this series. Definitely really, really strong. Really, really strong Pokemon, so gotta watch out for him. He also has the Suicune, who can set up the Tailwind. He has the Volcarona, who has his, uh, like, Rage Powder. Is it Rage Powder that he uses? Or he uses, like, a Follow Me type move. It might be Rage Powder. But for some reason, I think it's something else. But then he has the Reggie Draco, really fast, really hard hitting Pokemon. And then Tesserine and the. Ooh. Ooh. The Larian Por Persian? I'm with it. Pretty cool Pokemon. Let's rock after us. Uh, do I go with Articuno? Articuno could come out here. I'm going to go for the Tailwind setup easily here with the Articuno and the Incineroar with the Fake Out. I really do like that lead. And then potentially go into the Light Screen, considering he has a decent amount of uh, special attackers on this team. The Light Screen could definitely benefit us. Uh, gotta bring the landers. 100% gotta bring the landers. And I'm thinking of just throwing in Rayquaza as a final Pokemon. Right? Yeah, he's our restricted mile. Let's get him out of here. Let's bring him down, yo. Let's bring him down here. He did hit really, really hard in that last battle. He hits like a truck with Dragon Descent. It's legit the close combat of flying moves. Because it minuses your defense, the special defense. It does big damage. And then with the sharp beak on top of that, even more damage. And it's stab, so even more damage. Like, dude, this thing is just a powerhouse of a move. It's legit close combat. It's close combat for flying Pokemon. Or for Rayquaza, because I think he might be the only Pokemon that learns that. But he ends up going into the Volcarona and the Suicune. Oh, uh, which I'm fine with. Totally cool with. I'll set up a Tailwind. I'll fake out a Mon here. And we should be able to roll out. We'll be able to roll out pretty easily here. Suicune is in our focus, so we have to fake out onto the uh, Volcarona here. The Volcarona. Let's set up this lovely little Tailwind here. The Tailwind's going to be out and about. Chip up a little bit of fake out with the Volcarona, and I think we're gonna see a tailwind from the Suicune as well. Or maybe he might just drop a a water move. Shall see. Shall see what he does. But even if he does, I just don't see that Suicune doing enough damage to one tap my Incineroar. The Suicune's not that heavy hitting Pokemon, so Let's see how this one plays out. Fake out popping. Clap. Give a little clap, please. Flinch on that Pokemon. Tailwind sets up from us, and I wonder what this Suicune's going for. I'm guessing a, a tailwind as well. Oh, he's just gonna roar me. I'm fine with that. I did my tailwind. And that, now you just brought out trouble. Now you just brought out trouble. Let me let me tell you something. You just brought out some some trouble. Some big trouble. I got earth power. Probably take that out. And I'm just gonna uh, part and shot. A little part and shot action on the Suicune. Well, I think Suicune is probably setting up a tailwind. Volcarona is going to protect. That's fine. That's fine. We brought out some trouble here. Earth Power is going to get blocked. And I'm just going to parting shot back into the Articuno here. Parting short. A little bit of parting shot, I think. Can we swap out our Incineroar? Dude, he's so good. Like, it's crazy how this Pokemon hasn't been restricted yet. Or, like, take him out. He's just so good. He is so good, man. His moves are amazing. He's able to pivot easily. has decent speed. He's bulky. He can hit hard in situations. Ball's oh, gonna come out here. Oh, and he's, he's coming after Lando. Yo, he's coming after Lando. He's coming after Lando for no reason. Hey, you wanna come after Lando? Uh, what Pokemon? Could he swap the Volcarona into a flying Pokemon? That's a real question. He cannot. So I'm free to just go for another straight uh, power into this Pokemon and set up my Light Screen. I could protect, but I'm setting up my Light Screen. The power's gonna be able to fly. And do we take him out with that? Ho, oh, oh. ho. Got like a free sash right there. I think surviving on like one or two. We give too many people free focus sashes, which is nuts. Whoever dance is popping. It is popping. Special defense rose, special defense, special attack, and speed. So Volcarona is probably now fancy. So he does set up a tailwind, but again, we do have our, our nice little lovely ledge queen out and about. I see him really targeting down. Ooh. Oh, no, we're fine. I see him really targeting down my uh, lander, so I'm just gonna go. Take out the small corona. Kind of play off of that. Protecting my Lando. Let's see how he goes from here. Then go for the heat wave. Lando's gonna be able to block. Hopefully he's doubling down in the Lando slot. I can see that definitely happening, but oh light screen should be able to eat up. Yep, lovely little light screen. Get up, burn. Get out of my face. Skull's gonna come across. There we go, that's cool. And we're gonna be able to take out Volcarona easily here. Dude gets a burn on me. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Go here in Articuno says, hey, Volcarona. You're done. You're done for today. Go take a hike. Kick rocks, pound sand, 
And we even got a crit on top of that. Just rub it in his face. Just to say he should have been dead from that first Earth power. Which he should have. One or two HP, bro. Our tail with us Peter out here. So I'm guessing they're targeting now me. My uh, Articuno. Right, he's going to throw out Reggie Draco. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. I only that one bit. That's scary, man. I can't protect it. Uh, I'm trying to fairy Pokemon here. I don't really swap anybody here. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna protect my uh, Articuno here. Actually, let's do this. If I'm getting off a shot, I'd rather get off an Earth Power into this uh, Reggie Draco. I'm gonna protect my Articuno here. Just for the sheer fact is, uh, I can get out Incineroar next turn, have a fake out, and get off another Tailwind. Oh, he withdraws. He withdraws here. He goes into Calyrex. He goes into Calyrex. As one's gonna pop here, and Reggie Draco's gonna be able to do some crazy stuff here. This dude's nutty. This dude's nutty. This Reggie Draco's nutty. Let's see what he does from here. Gonna go for a Dragon. Yeah, we saw that one coming. That's that scary move. I think that takes out Landorus easily. He eats us up. That could be huge. We are light screened up. Let's see it. Yeah, no shot. No shot. That thing just hits too much like a truck. It's it's the water spout of dragon moves. It's the water spout of dragon moves. We're just going to uh, take away on us a little bit. I have to bring out my main man, Pots and Pans, over here. Which is going to be my Incineroar. And I have to set up a Tailwind. I have to get a Tailwind out, right? I have to fake out onto the Veggie Draco and hope that my Articuno can eat up. But at the same time, I've, like a big play for me would be reading this Protect on a Veggie Draco. It really would be. And just going for a Darkest Lariat, but I can't do that. I have to set up this Tailwind. Let's see, we still have the Light Screen up. The Fake Out is still going to come in here, and he does not Protect, which is great. The Flinch is out and about, and Astral Barrage is flying. Articuno! Articuno! Eat it up! Nope, it's super effective. He's dead. He's dead. He's a goner! This one's so tough for us. So, so tough for us, man. Calyrex is going to lose some HP here. Their Tailwind finally peters out here, and I have to bring out my main man, Rayquaza. And what do I... Th I, don't, I don't know what I should do here. Do not know what I should do here. One, I have to get rid of him. That will take it out, and I am going to protect here. Reggie Draco's just a scary little mod. Just a scary little mod. When I can get off this Darkest Larry, that, that Calyrex is dead. Pollen Puff. He's Pollen Puff. This thing's rocking Pollen Puff. Dragon Energy's gonna fly. It's an order. Eat this up. Eat this up, baby. Eat it up. I think Light Screen's still out here. Does that's beautiful? Okay, so Calyrex should definitely go down here. This lariat, it's stab, it's super effective. It doesn't eat up dark moves at all. Get it out of my face, dead. Okay, dude, this Reggie Draco is definitely scaring me, man. He's gonna be able to one tap me. Wish we had speed up against this thing. Light screen wears off. Not looking good. Um, trying to think how how can I can I do anything with this? Can I do anything with this? I don't have a dragon move. We have to double down into this guy, or not Suicune. We have to double down into this guy right here. We have to take him out. We have to do something with him. Hopefully he misses. I don't think it ever misses. Dragon Energy coming out here. And one slow tear rolls down Jesus' eye. Wow. Wow, and he gets a crit just to rub it in. It was taking me out regardless. Crit did not matter, but hey. One and two for today's video. Not a bad set about considering we should have won that first one. We dominated our second one, and then Reggie Draco just came in here and swept the floor with us in the third. We've been having some fun on the ranked double ladder for a little bit now, using some off meta teams, and same goes for this team right here. Definitely off meta, definitely tons of fun, and we were able to catch some wins with it as well. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.